broken electric power window held up by a piece of cardboard, then stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show you how to take a door apart and fix a power window that's broken. You can hear stuff so you know something's broken inside. If you didn't hear any noises, it could be a bad switch or a fuse or a relay. But in this case, it's getting power. We just know something's broken inside, so we'll take the door apart. So we'll get a screwdriver and start popping off the panels. These door panels are often like Chinese jigsaw puzzles. You get enough little screwdrivers and pry and pop the secret parts off, it'll come apart. You'll see. Where the door handle is, you pop this little cover off, and there's a screw inside you take off. And under the armrest, there's another little secret part. You take that off. And take that bolt off. Then you reach under and just pull real hard. Oh, and it starts to pop out. And then this baby, the speaker's in the way, so you gotta unplug it and get it out of the way so you can get the panel off. And now this Honda, you gotta pull the handle out, and you see there's a little clip. You just pop that off and the handle falls off. Then the whole assembly just lifts off. You gotta do a little wiggling, but it comes off. Just keep pulling until you got it off. Then you just pull it out of the way. Now I've been working on it for years, so I can tell just by looking here. This is part of the motor regulator assembly, the cable. It's broken and hanging loose, so we're going to have to take the whole unit out. So you just got all these shiny bolts and take them off. They hold it in. They're all over the place. You just get a 10 millimeter socket and take them all off. And then when you're done, the whole thing starts to get loose. Then with a little wiggling, you can get the whole thing out. There it is. Now I've taken the window out here to show you how it was supposed to be. This is supposed to bolt onto the glass and you have to bolt it off to get it off. But in this case, somebody's worked on the car before me and they've removed the bolt so they could jam the window back up with some tape so it didn't fall down. So now we got to get two little bolts to hold it in because they're missing. Now some guys try to fix these and buy either a motor or a regulator, but me, I just buy the whole assembly because it's easier and then it's going to last. If you fix one or the other, then the other one breaks, you're back to square one. So now we got a whole brand new assembly in the bag. And it goes in this way, so we'll slide it in here. Then we line up the bolt holes and put the bolts in. Then go to where the motor bolts on and line those bolts and bolt them in. Make sure they're nice and snug. Then we'll get the glass and we'll slide that back inside so that it sits on top of the window regulator. And inside here we see the little holes that we put the bolts in that were missing because somebody left them out when they took it apart before. There's one in the front and there's also one in the back side. And then of course we'll get the connector for the motor and snap it back in place and test it before we put it all back together. Well, here goes nothing. Aha, and it works. Because you wouldn't believe the amount of times that you put them together, then find out when you work it, something's binding. So always test it before you put it all back together. Then you just get the panel and you slide it all on in its places. Push it in hard and then snap the pieces back in. Then get the handle and put its rod back on. Snap it in place, and put the screws back in, and then get your last trim piece and snap that on. And there you have it, a power window that works now. So the next time your power windows go out, don't scream at them, fix them yourself. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.